Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates the performance of phase change material inside a shell and tube wind heat exchanger. The shell is designed as a cylinder tank carrying phase change materials and these PCMs are very are evenly distributed inside the tank. Since the PCMs of the present model are based on the phase change between the liquid and solid phases, the solidification and melting model has been used for current simulation. PCMs have the ability to absorb and store large amount of latent thermal energy. Thermal energy storage in PCM is achieved during the process of phase change, so that when the phase changes from solid to liquid, it absorbs heat from the environment, and when the phase changes from liquid to solid, it returns heat to the environment. These phase change materials have various melting or freezing temperatures, and are therefore used in cooling and heating systems. For example, these materials receive ambient heat on a hot day in the form of latent heat and melt, and then return to the environment again by changing the phase and freezing process in the cool night. The present geometry for the current project is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. The model consists of a cylinder tank and winding tube. In the passage of these pipes, several rows of fins have been installed in the form of a cross. The meshing of the present model has been done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is structured and element number is equal to 2,989,000. 887. By clicking on the Report Quality dialog box, you will see that in the console tab, the Fluent software will start to check your mesh quality. For example, you will see that the Fluent software will give you the orthogonal quality and as maximum aspect ratio. Now, there are several other assumptions made in this project. First, the type of our solver is set to be pressure based, since we are dealing with incompressible flows. And about the ver for velocity formulation, we have set the absolute form of velocity formulation. And as for the time study, we have selected the transient time study, since we are dealing with a time progressing phenomenon. Also, the gravity has not been taken into account and it is ignored. After double clicking on the energy button under the models tab, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, we enable the energy equation since we are dealing with temperature changing materials and that we want to know the temperature distribution inside our computational domain. In the solidification and melting setting, we enable the solidification and melting model. Also, in the parameters section, in front of the mushy zone parameter, we select constant and we set the value as you can see in the window. Now, the mushy zone constants measure the amplitude of the damping. The higher this value, the steeper the transition of the velocity of the material to zero as it solidifies. Very large values may cause the solution to oscillate. Also, under the thermal tab, you will see the total temperature of this flow entering inside the pipes. Now, for the boundaries with the name shadow at their end, you don't have to change the settings for these type of boundaries. As the, the name itself indicates, these boundaries are a shadow of the previous boundary. So when you set the settings for the normal boundary, the settings for this type of boundaries, which will be shadow boundaries, will automatically be set by the software. After clicking on edit button for this boundary, you will see that the thermal condition defined for this boundary is set to be coupled, which means that this wall is in contact with two fluids on its both sides. Also, you can see the material used for this boundary is set to be copper. After double clicking on the residual button, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the absolute criteria for the residuals of each equation. This criteria refers to the difference between the errors of each iteration and it refers to the fact that if the error is less than these criteria, those equations have reached convergence. 
Also, you, as you can see, the convergence criterion is set is set to be in absolute form. After clicking on one volume rendering button and accepting it, you will see a new window appear on the lower side of the software. In front of the variable section, you just have to select the temperature and after that, by clicking on apply, the 3D controls of temperature will be shown to you. As you can see in this contour, the red areas refers to the high temperature areas and the places where paraffin is in liquid form. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy.